welcome back to my channel. You join me on a glorious morning, 6.30 a.m. in Milton Keynes. I'm at my place of work and I'm just about to do a review of the Carpyroid 7 inch IPS touchscreen entertainment system. This is an add-on for cars that do not have infotainment systems and for people who do not, do not want to change their head unit. The head unit I've got in my car is adequate more than adequate actually, it's a good radio, good CD player speakers are good, so I just wanted something I could play Spotify and have Android Auto and a decent um, hands-free phone system so hopefully you watched the previous unboxing video and I had done uh, recorded a installation video which was quite a long one, it was about 15 minutes long uh, and I did have trouble setting up the unit to connect via FM radio mainly because I could not work out how to manually tune to the I think it's 97.5 channel on the carpy ride. I managed to find find it in the end. Unfortunately the um, it was very hissy and not very good quality music so I've now connected via the AUX, AUX cable or AUX whatever you want to pronounce it and it's a very good uh, sound so without further ado I shall turn it on the car's ignition and I've got it set up that the unit turns on automatically Android Auto connects automatically and well it will connect for a few seconds it also turns on the aux function of the inboard car stereo which is quite a good function so I'd have to turn it on myself there we go, so it, I've already got this set up to connect with my phone, so I click on that because that's my phone. There we go, and then Android Auto will automatically launch. There we go, now I've got it set up to have Waze coming on. You can have it set up for any, I believe, any uh, startup. It's like you can have uh, Spotify come on or any other function. Now I've, I have one of the previous videos I've recorded. I was, had the Pocket 2 on handheld, and it, even though it stabilised, it was still moving about. So I prefer I've got the tripod set up here. So there are the basic functions that you can have. This is a good function. You press on news. Here's the latest news. Yeah, so BBC News comes on. Yeah, so obviously we won't, yeah, we won't uh, play that in case there's any copyright infringement there. Um, let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, so you can have the phone, messages, calendar, Facebook Messenger, maps, uh, reminder, settings, ways, customize, weather, WhatsApp, and I've got a uh, set up to as a shortcut to ring. That's my son. Um, you can have any number of dial-ups on there so it's a very good system um, let's to now if you press exit one thing I did like you know put an SD card in here and I'm not going to press it because uh, I'm not sure if the audio box uh, Harry Potter audio books I've got on there is copyright protected so obviously for broadcasting so I won't press it in case any legal issues but you can play movies obviously you wouldn't want to download movies illegally and play them on here but any content uh, what I'll do is I will do a little video download one of my videos from here maybe this video and then put it on here and play it through here um, one thing I have noticed is when you've got set up for Android Auto you can't use you can't use the get my hand in the way there you can't use the Bluetooth phone call but then you wouldn't want to because it's mirrored on your phone, it'll come through your phone and it'll come up on the on the screen there. So all in all, it is a very good system. I'm well impressed with the hands-free call function because it, the person who's calling or you're talking to, it comes out on the speakers. And the inbuilt microphone at the front is very good. I've had trouble with a pass with my, excuse the car coming past, that someone else coming into work. Uh, I've had trouble with the past with my Garmin Satnav, which has got the Bluetooth call function. It, very, very bad 
um, audio quality and microphone quality. But this is what I really wanted Android Auto. Now I've got Way set up, but you can also have Google Maps and use that as your sat nav if you like. I wasn't too keen on Google Maps because a couple of times I've gone somewhere and the yeah, the routing wasn't the best, so I've, yeah, I think I'll stick to Waze, but I'm still going to keep my Garmin as a dedicated sat nav. But yeah, I'm uh, obviously you wouldn't have read your text messages when you're driving. If you've got a passenger, that's fine. But all in all, it's a very good system. It's worth £199 I paid for it, and hence this view is unbiased. Um, I don't get it. Uh, sent any items to review, not just yet. I mean, if I did, I would. It would be an unbiased review because I believe I don't believe in waffle, even though I'm waffling now. Probably. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, one thing I did say is, well, I haven't said, is when I did the unboxing video, there is two types of bracket. And I just noticed this is not set up evenly, but never mind. Um, I have screwed this bracket to dashboard because I already drilled a hole in for the power and auxiliary cable. I wanted it to look, to look as built in as possible. Um, originally it was going to be in, in the little shroud I've got behind here where I had the Garmin sat nav but it was just too big and it yeah it just set up blocking the views. I didn't want to uh, fall foul of the law getting pulled over the obstruction of the windscreen. Hello and welcome back to the second part of this uh, right, it was, was meant to be an installation video, but I've already fixed it. A bit of a problem with this bracket at the bottom. I screwed it with two screws this side, and it was glued down with a supply pad this side. But on a very hot day, the car being in the sun all day at work, this part lifted. Obviously, it lost its stickiness. And if you watch one of my earlier videos on my car, one of my window, window, the windscreen um, pillar panels on the outside had come unstuck and damaged. Anyway, I've, so I've, re I've screwed that so that this is now secure. And I've found a very, 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 very useful function. Now, it's your, your phone has to be set up to play the, the receive Hello Google function, talking. So, let's try it out. Hello Google. Hello Google. Call a ninety five G. Sorry, who do you want to call? Call doctors. Sorry, it looks like there's no number listed. Okay, call O one nine oh eight. I've forgotten the number. Let's try a different one. Uh, let's go into my phone function. It does work. No, let's try something. Let's try something else. Hello, Google. Navigate to work. Navigating to work. There we go. Let's go navigate with voice function. That works. So let's go to my phone. Let's pick. Hello Google. Call voicemail. Calling voicemail. There we go. There we go. Hello Google. Turn off. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. So you can make calls with your voice. You can navigate with your voice. Let's try. Hello, Google. Turn on Spotify. All right, asking Spotify to play some music. Yeah, let's not play. Let's not uh, play any copyright material. Yeah, so you can Spotify. Okay, so what else? What else going to be the voice? Uh, hello, Google News.
Hello Google. Open calendar. Opening calendar. Okay, no events today. Hello Google. Open news. Here's the latest news. Okay, we won't, we won't listen to that. But yeah, it looks like you can open more or less any function that's on your... Hello Google, open Messenger. Sorry, I can't send messages with Messenger yet. Oh, okay. Let's try... Hello Google, send text. Who do you want to text? Paul Marshman, that's my brother. Paul Marshman, sure. What's the message? No, she won't send you a text. So I wonder what's going on. Okay, yeah, let me turn that off. Uh, yeah, so you can send text, which is obviously useful. So you don't want to be pressing buttons while you're driving, which is illegal, or using your phone. So there we go, a bit of an update there. Um, I only found that out. But your phone's got to be set up for accepting the Hello Google function. And there we go. Let's try. Hello Google, open WhatsApp. Opening WhatsApp. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, I'm impressed. So there we go. If you want to open anything, obviously you shouldn't be don't suppose if it's illegal. <clears throat> not sure if it's illegal to open messages while with your voice. You really shouldn't be reading messages while you're driving, I suppose. But anyway, let me know if it is illegal or not. I'd love to know. So there we go. That's an update on the car ride system. So far, I've had very positive uh, actions with this, and it's uh, a very good add-on. I've recommended buying. I paid £199 for this particular model. From direct from Carpy Ride, it did have a um, on the tracking app. It did have a very funny journey. It got it went from China to Preston, Preston to the USA, USA to London, London to Washington DC, Washington DC back to London, and then Milton Keynes, and then, it got, then it arrived in Milton Keynes, and then Bletchley. So I, I, personally, I think it went directly from China to to me. Yeah, the tracking out was a bit weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and uh, please subscribe, like, and uh, watch for more videos. The next video is going to be uh, a day out at Cranfield Auto Fest. So watch out for that one. Thank you and goodbye.